Hey, what is going on everybody? Arta here and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create my custom emblem. I know it's very simple, there are probably millions out there with the exact same thing. I'm not sure, I just wanted to make something simple, something that I could remake in Photoshop and actually turn into my own logo, so this is what I made. But a few of you have asked me to make this video, I've been using this one for about two months, before that it was this one. Now this video is of course a live commentary, so I might fail, you might see a random cut or something like that like that. I'm sorry for that, I'm not very good at these type of videos. But first things first, we're going to be using the A, of course. Here it is. Now this is already the tricky part. You first gotta scale it. I'd say about this. Then you gotta press the right thumb thing. And then you can make it wider. Now I like it a little bit wider than average. I'd say, you know, you just, just switch around with it for a little while until you feel like that it is any good. Then you go to the second layer, and now we gotta find the circle. Where's the circle? Where's the goddamn circle? There it is. And then what you do, let's check it out. Change layer order. No, that's not what I want. Move emblem, that's not what I want either. Color pick. I wanna do something to this thing, but I can't remember how to do it. It's not the opacity. Toggle outline. There we go. This is what you want to do. So if I'm correct, we should first make this one black. That is for the outline of, you know, the outer part. That kind of creates a little layer on your gun. I really, personally really like... No, wait. This one has to be white. This is going to take a while. Trust me, this is going to take a while. This one has to be white, and then the last two layers, the last two circles that we're going to create, are supposedly going to be black. So first I'm going to shrink this a little bit. I'd say shrink it until about here, and we're going to make it bigger, of course. So here we go, that is one. Then we gotta copy this one, copy, and then paste. Make it a little bit bigger. We're just going to make the outline a little bit bigger. I know, it's it's very simple. I know. <laughs> I know it is. But I fucked up the A though, so we gotta fix that in a second as well. Now, I've, I'm not 100% sure on how big the other one was. We gotta clear this one. I messed it up. I really can't remember how big that one was. It doesn't really matter though. There we go. I think this is some somewhat semi-good. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, let's copy two more. So that is one. We're gonna make this one black, and then we'll do this on the outside, which is which it already is. There we go. That should about do it. And then we copy this one, so we already have a black one. And then we make this one to to the middle. There we go. Now, as you can see, this kind of creates one of those like those little outlines to the letter A, which I personally really like. You of course don't have to do it, but you know what? I kind of feel like you should. <laughs> kind of feel like you should. Okay, so press it again. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. I oh, know we're gonna make it a little bit bigger now. What does it have to be so hard? I think I'm simply going to make the outline a little bit bigger. That should potentially fix this problem. Let's let's switch it around a little bit. I personally like this one a little bit better than to the other side, so we're going to do that. Okay, this should do it. If I now make the outer line a little bit bigger. It should fix itself. Did it fix itself? There we go. So there you, there you have it. That is it. That is that is it. Oh no, the A is not a hundred percent. I'm not. I'm not fond with the A. Okay, so the A is good now. But now the outer line is a little bit messed up, which is bad thing. Okay, so we gotta make the outline a little bit bigger, so we'll probably have to add a couple more. A couple more layers. So first off, I'm going to make this one white again. If we switch this up to white, we can simply make a new layer and make that one black. And hopefully it is done then. Paste it. Why is it white? Why are you white? You don't get it, do you? You're not supposed to be white. I'm telling you, this looks extremely weird. 
Oh, we messed up the middle one. This one should be black. Does that fix it? Pretty much. Pretty much fixes it. Now we just gotta swirl it around a little bit more. What if I just do this? There you go. I'll make it a little bit longer. Not like that. Come on. Just a tiny inch. And there you go. Now the edges aren't exactly perfect, but I'm just going to save it and we'll check out the other one. And then we'll go from there. So here we go. Let's go ahead. Back out. Save. Apply the play card. You know what? This one... I switched, out, I switched around the A a little bit, so let's just use it. Then we're going to take a look at the other one. You know, it's practically the same thing. This one also has messed up edges. As you can see, it's just something that the A does. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I do use the two more layers on this one. But I guess I just didn't efficiently use the circles. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, a like rating would, of course, be very much appreciated. If not, that is, of course, cool as well. We've got a message. Let's read it. Oh, you have to listen to it. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see some of you next time. Take it easy. I hear the freeze, freeze, freeze come out.